everybody, it's Mike, the Rideshare Reseller, coming to you from Santa Cruz today. Just thought I'd shoot some uh, video up here for you. It's a beautiful day, 70 degrees, fantastic. This is the best time. If you ever come into Santa Cruz, if you wanna visit Santa Cruz, it's November, it's October, it's just stellar. The fog isn't here. Amazing, amazing weather. I live 25 minutes from here, and it's just an easy jaunt right over the hill. So anyhow, um, we're gonna discuss, is the stock market better for rate of return or eBay? Kind of interesting little take there. Also, I'll have some sold video stuff at the end, uh, some items that I sold, and uh, we'll go over that, and we'll go over some numbers, and uh, just generally talk uh, eBay. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, hey everybody, it's the Rideshare Reseller, back from the beach. And uh, time to discuss what we were uh, talking about earlier today. So before I get into what I sold and my totals, I thought I'd just give you kind of uh, a little bit about what the title was, uh, Stocks versus eBay. Kind of a, uh, a little bit of a, a thing where uh, is one better than the other in my head? I mean, I kind of I, I get back to, I'm always into percentages, and, and the percentage that I'm talking about here is, uh, the return on investment. If I take ten dollars and put it in the stock market, and I put ten dollars towards an item and I sell it, you know, two different things, kind of. You know, one is long term. That's the theory. You know, I think the long term gains on the stock market is not what most people think they are. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of risk involved in the stock market. Yeah, there's risk involved in eBay, but not nearly as much risk in the in the stock market. You know, as we found out in 2008, you know, uh, the market tanks and it takes you five, six years to recover that money. So all I'm getting at here is, is the return on your money, your initial investment. I mean, you see some of the things that I, I purchased, you're going to see some more in here and the dollar amounts that I pay and then the return that I get off of that item. You know, I still have to subtract fees, uh, my time and so forth, but once we go over these numbers, you know, especially after this end of this month. At the end of this month, I'm going to give you October, November with my cost kind of minus and break it down and see what my return on that 60 days is on my money percentage wise. And then compare that to, you know, basically the stock market. It's kind of a, a way to, to think differently with eBay. You now, how many times have you thought you get you take one dollar. Let's take let's just take two dollars. A little easier. Take two dollar item. You buy it for. You sell it for twelve fifty, and you ship it for three ninety five or four dollars. Let's call it four dollars. You got sixteen dollars total. The, the shipping is paid, so there's four dollars. You're left with twelve. eBay takes two. Let's say, just for for kicks and giggles. So you've got ten and two you've got an $8 profit off your $2. So it's simple. Your $2 has created you four times your money. Now, if you told somebody in the stock market, hey, I can make four times my money, you know, they jump at that. And I know that it's a different animal, but that's kind of how I think about things sometimes. I like to always think about like that. And a great guy to think about, he'll tell you all the time, is a Commonwealth picker. He's out there, he's busting his tail because of where he's at in the location that he's at, and he's still making a very good return on his investment. The key here is, can you be disciplined enough to make that money last and stay um, over time? Yes, it's like your job, okay? But for me, um, it's, it's, it's a job, but it's... I'm in a little different situation. I'm a little older, so I, I don't have as much debt, exact, so forth and so on. Uh, that kind of situation. So I, I can save a lot more. And I'm getting to the point where I, I want to know how much this business is viable down the road. Where do I want to take it? So forth and so on. So again, think of everything as a return on your investment. What you can make. Um, you're going to see tonight that I, I get some pretty, pretty good returns. That's again, where the area where I live, but I'm just kind of want you to think about it on, on that level. Don't dismiss smaller items. Try to think of it. Hey, I had $2. I made eight. I had 10. I made 40. I had 20. I made a hundred. I'm had 40. I made 200. 
it's all about the same four or five times. And then you, you just keep building off of that and saving off of that. And then maybe you throw some of that money into the market, you know, as a long term investment and some safety uh, to build from there. Nothing wrong with that. But I, I think you got to start to think a little bit more about that return that eBay does give you. It's going to be very interesting to see what the return is on my money at the end of this month for those two months period because I've got all my receipts. I'm going to track it and then give you it. You know, a lot of people like Rockstar Flipper, those guys, they kind of show you and you know they're making darn good money, uh, especially a really good return on their investment. That's the key. All right, enough of that. I just kind of wanted to you know shine on that a little bit. Let's get right into now what uh, the numbers were for the month for the last 30 days. We're gonna go from that point. All right, let's uh, let's go up to this one. All right, so far. Um, this is just a little, a little, a little chart here of my last 31 days, 12,420 for 31 days. Okay. So let's call that 30 days and let's, let's just call it 12,000 just for the heck of it. You know, even though it is that 12,000 times 12, $144,000 in eBay sales for the year. That's not including all the fees and everything like that. Uh, so that's uh, pretty darn good. The last seven days, a little bit slower at times, $2,259. And then today, which was basically the day I did that, I think there was 16, I, at that point I had $600 in sales. All right, so uh, my sales are up 15% over the prior 31 days. So I've seen steady increases and, and, and steady climbing of that. So it's been pretty good. All right, let's get into um the last 60 days because this is 60 days all right taking about the same time last 60 days twenty three thousand dollars and i had 431 sold and i believe that's about 53 53 dollars an item i'm gonna do a quick sorry i'm gonna look at my calculator here do this real fast yeah 53 dollars 36 cents an item uh, per item. Uh, I've been as high as $60, so I have $53 per item. Uh, again, this is still telling me if you take 23000 and you do it times six, right, you're still close to that $140,000 uh, barrier for eBay sales. I think some people can make a living off of that. I really do. <laughs> if you got $144,000 in sales, um, in a lot of parts of this country, you can make good money with that. You make a good living. I'm sorry, make a good living. Again, um, I know it is a uh, a region area driven thing. Uh, again, I got over. I can tell you that I make obviously a little bit more due to the area that I'm in and the items that I pick. All right, so there you go. Those are some totals. Again, at the end of the month, I'm going to show you uh, the totals minus my cost of goods for three months for two months. And let's take a look at that uh, when that happens. All right, let's get into some items. This one just sold last night, so I, I put it up. Um, this is a savers item. Uh, I don't think I paid any more than $7.99 for this silly thing. Again, they just don't like to price these older cameras. They always think old, but I got it for at least eight bucks. And as I remember, sold for $99.95 and I pay the shipping. So um, pretty good. This one had everything in it too and worked beautifully. Had the remote, some tapes, a little bit of everything, and it worked just fine. Oh, this was a this was an older one. I thought I was going to sell this much quicker. This took a while to sell, and uh, it was an early on pick. And I remember I got this at Savers up north, uh, not the one closer to my house. And I know exactly what I paid for this one. I paid $7.99. And uh, I can remember it, and it's a beautiful plasma ball. It lights. It's really cool. Hardest part was me to sh me packing it right now. I, I did pack it. It's not going too far, so let's hope it makes it. Very interesting item. I figured I would eventually sell it with Christmas coming up too. So one nineteen ninety five plus he paid nine seventy five. All right, another recent find. Pretty cool. This here is what they call Pop Toss Green Pitching Machine, and it's for 12-inch softballs. This thing is like a cannon when it goes off. It's quite kind of interesting. 
But anyhow, it is uh, for softball players. It'll go six feet high, I think, and 10 or 12 feet high. You can you can adjust the pressure on this thing. And you, you push it down with your baseball bat, the handle, and then it has a little timer and you get different timing. Uh, so it gives you a chance to set up. And then the ball comes out of the air, you swing and hit. So it kind of gives you this so slow pitch softball uh, kind of feel. And it sold for $105 and $24.95. It was a California sale. So uh, my shipping was well under that, and uh, I managed to make about seven, eight bucks extra on the shipping. Okay, here's one. And again, this is this is goes right back. I, this was an eight dollar ninety nine cent purchase, and uh, the box is beat up. And I believe that the Goodwill just thinks it's a VCR and it's no good. Blah blah blah. You know that kind of thing. And I and, and I think people think the same thing when they look at it. So I opened it up, and you could it was brand new. I mean, you could look at it; it was, it was never used. And that's how I sold it, and I got seventy five dollars for it. Buyer paid twenty nine ninety five. Another California purchase, so I I made back a little bit on my on my shipping, but a nice little find. Some of these V I've got a couple of them. Don't discount just VHS. Look for the VHS Hi Fi. Sony, Sharp, Samsung, those kind of guys, okay? All right, let's get up next. All right, another am amazing find at Savers. You know, just a really cool find. I believe I paid $9.99 on a f this filter, and I, I had either 20 or 30% off. It was one of the two. And so I paid ended up paying about eight dollars total and uh it was sitting on a bottom rack at savers i don't know they don't have a pet section so it was just it was kind of low kind of tucked not tucked back but i don't know if people noticed what it was and so what i did was i opened it up and lo and behold she's brand spanking new and uh it sold within one day another california buy hundred dollars and 32.95 for shipping so i did well there Another great flip. Oh, okay, this is my yeah. This is my little honey hole. I'm starting to sell these. This is new. It shouldn't have said new in the box. And I, I just saw the error. The buyer didn't care. I, I before I committed to shipping it, I told him, hey, you know, it's not new in the box. My description said it was not new in the box. I just sniped the title. This is exactly why you should. You should take titles and make sure that you uh, make sure you check them because NIB new in box. I missed it. Eighty-seven ninety-five. I paid the shipping. I believe this was another California purchase, so I was getting. I'm having a streak of Californias, which is really cool. Um, and uh, I got eighty-seven ninety-five, and I paid fifteen dollars because I bought several. I bought like four pairs of various vans from my. Uh, I call it my Honey Hole thrift store. So fifteen dollars on these. Um, they get thousands of them, and I get they kind of hold back some the ones that I kind of like, and they just want to move them. So another good little buy. Uh, here's another one that took a while to sell. I actually lowered the price on this one. Uh, I have been selling a lot of shoes, and I'm doing better with shoes. These were Halston Heritage. They look brand new, but I, I said they were used. I mean, they are, the tips on these are like little silver silver tips. Um, and I remember I paid about eleven ninety nine. It's been a while. Um, and I had them up for, I think, 99 And I, I just finally took sixty nine ninety five and twelve ninety five shipping for the, and the shipping was a push. So, you know, I made good money on it. It just took a while. It took a little longer to sell than I thought. So, you know, a unique looking shoe. What is next here? All right, well, I was gonna do a video on this one one estate sale. I, I was at an estate sale that was wild. For, for California, it's wild. I mean, it was front yard, backyard, garage, in the house, just stuff everywhere. And uh, I picked up four Auric absorber filters for an, an Auric. And um, this one here looked like it was open. So I discounted it at about seven dollars, and it was open as I checked it, and it sold for nineteen ninety five. 
and I had bundled a bunch of stuff at this uh, estate sale. I think it was $55 for everything. Um, and I've sold several pieces so far, but this here was one of them. I, I just wanted to show you that this old Oric stuff for the tabletop air purifiers, those kind of things, those are hot. You can find those. Uh, people will grab those up all day long. All right, next up, look for Jean, Jean Nate. I think I said it right, Jean Nate. I remember my mom used to get this stuff. That's how long ago this is. But this is a, a perfumed bath powder dusting powder. And it had little towelettes. And I do remember getting this at Savers, and it was about $5.99. Um, I probably got a discount with my senior or 20% off. But five ninety nine. Hey, they're gonna price this stuff real reasonable. Uh, again, they don't know what it is. They just think it's you know old or whatever. And sold for forty six ninety five. So a nice little flip. So keep looking for that perfume. I think Commonwealth Picker found some Fendi the other day, and he got pretty good money on that. Okay, all right. They're interesting shoes. Took me a while to figure out what these shoes were. I did sell them, and, and as I remember, I paid about uh, 12 bucks, and I'm sure, pretty sure I had a discount in there somewhere. This was a Goodwill find. They were brand new. Uh, I disclose again I, the pictures, and I, I, there was no marks on these whatsoever. Fairly large size, woman size 10. And um, this was somehow, uh, what do you call one of those things? The... Uh, I can't remember where you do it. You do a, a fundraising thing and uh, you're making shoes and people buy them. That's what this was. This was off of a fundraiser type situation. They were coming out with these shoes, some kind of comfort heel or something. And I ended up selling them for $70 and buyer paid $19.95. All right, here we go. Next up. All right, some bookends. Um, I've been looking for, I, I look for bookends, but now I'm being a little more picky because some of them don't sell. You just got to get the right ones. And this was a cool set. Two bare bookends, brass, rustic brown, uh, $4.99, I believe, at, uh, at a Goodwill. Uh, very reasonable. Most bookends, they'll go $4.99, $7.99. That's the max you'll probably end up paying. And I sold it for $33.95 and $12.95 shipping. Well, this is a tremendous one. This is really cool. Really cool one. And this is, a you know, a great Savers find. I walked into Savers, and I being that I'm so tall, I just, my eyes are up at the the uh, top shelf all the time. And uh, the first row I walk into is books, and then right behind that is, like, collectible stuff. And there was this uh, fairly large, looked like a cookie jar. And um, it is a Indian chief tobacco canister it has three indian chiefs you see the one there there's two more on the other side so it spins and lo and behold the darn thing is 7.99 i just took it i knew it was worth something i couldn't find a comp so i put it up i think at 169.95 and i ended up selling it to for someone for 140 and the buyer paid 21.95 so tremendous tremendous fine you know, also, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I am not a garage sale. I do okay at garage sales. Um, I'm hoping next year, because I kind of started late on this whole thing, to be better at garage sales. Um, I am a very, very persistent picker at the Goodwills. My route, I hit five days a week. I hit 12 of those stores legitimately every day. So there's, what, nearly 60 stores in one week and you're bound to find some super items if you just keep that pace up that's how i work you know i hit quite a few so I'll, hopefully i'll get better at garage sales interesting find okay this was from my the, the estate sale that i found uh this was one of the items and this is a vintage selecta antenna am radio $42.95 is what I sold it for. It was bundled with everything else for 55 bucks. 
uh, fantastic. I didn't know what it was at first. At first, I thought it was one of those select antennas for the house. But this is for an AM radio. You put it behind it. You set some. The, you set the dial to the radio station on the dial, and it helps bring in the signal better. Very kind of strange looking item, but they sell really well. I mean, I put mine right at the price that I wanted to be, and it sold within a week. All right, here's here's one that a lot of people will pass up. They just they don't they don't trust it. But Pioneer Laserdisc Karaoke, um, sitting at a Savers for fourteen ninety five. Um, I'm pretty sure I got twenty percent off, but it's sitting there for fourteen ninety five. And the kicker is, I have a laser disc to to put in to test it. So I always keep that. I keep CDs. I keep VHS. Uh, I keep micro cassettes. All that stuff, so I can test things. And I happen to have a laser disc. I have it in my car, and I have I have one in my car, and I have one at home. And what I do is, if if I find it something like that, I will bring it in and test it. And it seemed to work. And I don't have a way of testing the karaoke side, but it, it definitely it was working. I uh, haven't had an issue. Sold it on November 11th. It's uh, very, very good. And, and the Pioneer is the one you want. Sold it for $109.95, and the buyer paid $36 for shipping. All right, up next this is another Savers find. Uh, I remember these, these were tooth. tooth paste called uh oh my gosh quip quip q u i p um saw them all there there's probably about 20 of them there and uh i said well let me see if there's something there and lo and behold there's comps on them and it this turns out i think it says every tube's a three month supply so three six nine twelve so that's a one year supply yeah 12 months it says on the ad uh, expiration of 521 so i'm cool there and uh i ended up paying about a dollar 49 each so, you know, not a lot of money on it, but it's, you know, quick flips and it's already paid for itself. So, uh, you know, look for stuff like that. Cosmetics. You've seen some of my cosmetic picks and stuff like this, even toothpaste. All right. Here's one from my little honey hole store. And this sat in the honey hole. This was crazy. It sat at their counter for oh, at least three or four days before I even looked at it. I just thought it, I saw the word Bellarmine on it. Bellarmine is the local, um, very pop, very popular uh, high school, private. A lot of famous people have come from there, and a lot of uh, the South Bay, Silicon Valley people send their kids there. And there were two of these, and they are uh, Pan Am. That's what finally caught my eye. I'm going, well, how'd you miss this? There were two of these. I paid a dollar each. They let me have them for a buck each. Because they were sitting there, they didn't know what they were, and I thought, well, hey, you know, it's Pan Am, so somebody's gonna, somebody might be interested in it. And lo and behold, somebody did buy it, forty-five dollars and seven ninety-five shipping, and I have one more left. So it's a little travel bag uh, purse, just a little, and it's got the Pan Am. It's definitely Pan Am, which is now defunct airlines. All right, now this one was again from my Honey Hole thrift store. I, I do remember what I paid for this. I paid $10. And then there's a little book. I can't remember where I got the booklet for. Uh, I think I paid $3. But I added the booklet because these masks were kind of not selling. So I had 13 in total investment in this. And I finally did sell it for $69.95. These are old little small Chinese porcelain masks for makeup. So the artist can paint the actor's face using those masks as reference. $69.95, and the buyer paid $9.95. This was really, really, another another really nice uh, sale. And um, this one was sitting at the Goodwill, and I, I wanna say the bottom line is I paid, as I remember, $9.99. It, it's a coin display chest and it holds 100 coins, has six drawers. It's mahogany. I know my woods. And um, I had it up for $139.95. And I took a, a best offer a best offer of $110. And then the buyer paid $52 bucks to ship it. So they were $162 all in. And I know that they're from Virginia, as, as I remember, remember. 
and uh, another one tricky to pack, but I pack it, packaged it and it made it. So look for stuff like this. Very cool coin display chest. And I, I got rid of this. I got rid of my Department 56 Halloween Snow Village Grizzly Manor. And I sold it for $90. And I sold it after, after, um, you can see it said sold on November 6th. And, and I got full price. I got $90. And it sold uh, to someone after Halloween. And there you go. And $24.95 uh, for shipping. It's just a unique little item. Um, I can't remember where I got it. I probably only paid three or four bucks for it. And it was probably at a garage sale. This was definitely, I think, I think at a garage sale. Paid like three bucks for it. It was a local deal uh, at, shipped to Oakland, California, so not very far from me. So the shipping was cool. $22.95. Uh, very heavy, very cool art glass, hand blown glass zebra. Like It's like a paperweight. couple more here let's see all right for the people who didn't know or watch one of my videos I did add these in there I think they're back to back I hope the next one's on here this is to show you again you want to talk about stock market return let's talk about this one okay six Hollywood premier uh, DVD boxes there's ten in each so 60 CD sound effects of different things train whistles and so forth uh, I was, it was, there were $2.99 each, so 18 bucks, but when I got to the register, it was half off, $9. Put it up that night, 11 o'clock, when I woke up, I had already sold it for $399.95. So where can you turn $10 into $400? Can you do it in the stock market? Sure, sure you can. Not every day. No, you have to hit a, a wild stock that just kind of climbs, but... Here at eBay, you can hit more of these than you will over there gambling on the stock market short term. There is a place for the stock market. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to you know, badmouth stock. I'm trying to use that as a, just an example so that people will see, hey, there is money to be made out there. So $10 basically into 400 and the last item, just to show you again, you've probably seen this one maybe before, but people who have not watched other videos, I wanted to put it on here. A 99 cent remote control that I sold the same way, 11 o'clock at night, and overnight it was gone. $140, and they paid the shipping. $1 into $140. So again, amazing stuff out there, people. Um, it's it's crazy so you just got to keep uh, forging ahead it can be done um, I'm a testament to just starting in April 1st and getting to this point I really just want to hope to inspire people and get people to uh, realize that it's out there for you you can do this and if you're other resellers you just got to keep plugging away get yourself a nice good little pattern going and uh, you're going to make some money. So anyhow, hey, uh, thanks for watching. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, yeah, you can do that too. Appreciate it. I don't beg for that kind of stuff, but if you want to do it, that's great. I hope I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. It's going to take me a while. Hopefully by next uh, by next spring, I'll have a nice flow, a nice flow of uh, uh, good videos for you guys to watch. So again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon.